So today we're going to be talking about three different movie magic techniques that you can use with uh, just in-camera effects. Uh, the first thing you want to do is load your video into your project. So here's all my videos. Um, this is what it's going to look like after it's done. So if you watch this one play out, So there's the telekinesis. Here is the twinning, which will be layer masking. And here is uh, the ghost. Oh, wow. There's a proud moment. Anyway, so the, what we're going to start with is the easiest one, which is reverse. So um, you drag and drop it in. This is in regular speed. So you figure out where exactly you want it to start. So I wanted it to start right where I dropped it. So then I'm going to right click right on the white bar and you go to speed and duration. A shortcut to this is uh, control R or if you're on a Mac, command R. And then you're going to go to reverse speed. Now we are going to, in this black and white film too, you are going to be making your speed faster. So you want to have it be um, at least 150. You can slow it down even, or make it faster and go up to 200, but I wouldn't go any faster than 200 because then it'll just look obviously too fast. So then I'm going to go, okay, notice how it shrunk because now it's a shorter clip. And now you can watch it as it plays out. And ta-da! Now it's all in reverse, so obviously you don't want any speaking, hence the reason why this is a silent film. To get rid of your bottom sound, you right click and you go to unlink, and now there you have two separate ones. So then you can click on the audio and press delete, and then it's gone. So you can do that with all of them. So now that you're done with the reverse speed, we're going to move on to uh, the second easiest one which is the ghost one. So first you start out with your empty screen. So that should be right here. Yeah, so notice how there's nobody in here. This is your empty screen. I'm just going to take a little bit of it like that. Now she's walking around in the back, so that's actually going to be a little bit of a distraction. So try and make sure if you're doing an empty screen that it's truly empty or when you come in that it's truly empty. So then I'm going to take my uh, double click on mine and I'm going to choose how where I'm gonna have it bring in so I'm gonna actually bring it in from the point where I'm in the air look at that vertical and then I'm gonna drop it down to where I'm done making a fool out of myself then I'm gonna drag it on top of it so it's gonna be an invisible scene and then I'm gonna jump in and then I'm gonna move around the way that I'm gonna change this now I highlight the top layer I go to Effect Controls, and this is how you can edit your scene. And then you go to Opacity, which should be in the middle of Effect Controls, and you move it down to about 70. If you go any lower, it's going to be uh, too light, and you won't be able to see yourself. And that's how you do the ghost. Layer it on top, Opacity, done. That's it. Then, for twinning, this is probably the most complicated one. So first of all, you start where you want it to actually start, so he comes in and notices his twin. We're going to put this one on the bottom layer, and then we're going to put the twin because he comes in later, and he has a shorter reaction, and so we're going to put him on top. So we're going to put him right around here, we're going to try and make it so that the moment he reacts and notices that he also comes in. So right like that. So we're now going to make sure that the top layer is selected. If you select the bottom layer, it won't work. Top layer selected, you go to Effect Controls, and you go to the this guy right here, this little draw pen tool, and a pop-up will pop up saying Mask 1. You're then going to draw a box around your twin on the layer that you're on. So this is my top layer twin. So then I'm going to draw a box around him. And what you did was you just created a mask over it, and so then it'll show through the bottom layer to show your twin. But you can see this little line right here. 
because it was just a little bit darker when he was in there. Maybe the cloud came through or something. So what we're going to go back to is go right over here to our um, masking tool one more time. Let's make sure that it's selected. And when we have the masking tool, oops, effect controls, mask. There we go. We're going to go to feather. You take feather and you bring it up and you can see those little dots expanding. That's showing the feather, but look at how it's feathering also his body. You might want to pull this off screen just a little bit more so you don't lose the detail. That'll kind of ruin the effect a little bit. So you want a feather, but not so much where you lose your other twin's body. And then that is it. So now once you play it, look at that. That's it. Now notice how he just disappears because we ran out of uh, film. You don't want him to just suddenly disappear, otherwise he'd really have something to be shocked about. So you want to then shorten it to that point, so then the clip just ends at the reaction with one another. And that's twinning. Uh, quick shortcut really fast. I'm going to go back to my reverse speed one more time. Um, if you get all the way to the point where you've already sped up the speed, it's at 150% uh, percent the speed. If you want to then go into uh, changing the color, all you have to do is go up to color, and you go to the creative tab right here and go to the look, go to, down to the bottom where it says noir. Any one of these noir ones will make it black and white. And you can kind of decide what style of black and white you want. And then to achieve the vignette look, you go to here and you drag your vignette down and you can make it nice and vignetted and old looking. So now here is noir HD. And then this one is the Noir, but this one is uh, 1965. So notice how it's just a little bit different, but it still has the vignette. So that's how you can change your black and white as well. So those are the three film magic t techniques as well as how to turn it black and white and how to speed up your time. All right, that is all.